hi everyone Habibi here uh, in this video I'm going to retexture some 3d models of mine I have these 3d models 1 2 3 and 4 they have these four texture files which are very low quality I made this 3d model and at first time it has very good texture but I tried to bake the texture and turn out the big texture the big texture is very low quality like this so I lost my original texture so I cannot I cannot restore the original texture I only have this big uh, texture and I don't like this texture because it is very low quality if you zoom in you cannot see clearly the texture at all so in this video I'm going to retexture this 3D model uh, I'm going to start with editing the texture file with Photoshop this is my Photoshop program and let me drag and drop it here in my Photoshop let me check what is the size of this texture it is 520 520 512 512 512 uh, pixels sorry so I'm going to increase the size of this texture to 10 uh, 80p 1080 pixels no 1024 yeah 1024 let me hit ok and I will save it as a Photoshop file so what I'm going to do is completely just forget about this old texture I will make new one new one so that's why I create this video to show you step by step how to texture a 3d model so just think that we are going to texture it from zero okay uh, what I'm going to do now is to find out some reference image or some free images from internet I don't recommend you to use this method because somehow uh, maybe some picture on internet has copyright but as uh, just for education purpose and just for example I'm going to show you how I can find some picture online I will search in Bahasa Indonesia locomotive kereta api yeah let me find some good images so I can use them so I can use them as my texture I can edit the image and guys I think the locomotive type of mine here is this one CC201 so I will search for this locomotive type locomotive CC201 I hope I can find better texture better images this one yeah I think I can use this one because it has the side angle maybe this one yeah or maybe I can use it just drag and drop it here and I will uh, open it on my Photoshop and 
I will start with this large body of the train the large part of the train locomotive I mean I will take out this one this part copy and paste it here so because we are going to abandon this whole texture I will just get rid of it then I place this one here I think the resolution of this image is not too high but I think it is okay I place it here and I'm going to remove this part the metal part here the way to remove it just we can select and scale it up like this I know it is not very professional way to do it but it, it can yeah it it works because the game itself oh yeah I, I'm using this 3d model for my games and the game itself is mobile game so I don't really need the very high quality of texture this texture will, will do somehow at least I can have better texture than the previous texture that will uh, sufficient for me I will copy and paste this part any part of the video if you have any question just ask me maybe I can uh, give some explanation or yeah what else do we have here Oops. make sure you are working on this layer when you do selection if not you cannot select the image yeah not bad <laughs> not bad and this one the logo of the train because I don't want to have any problem later so I think I need to remove the logo of this locomotive yeah I'm sorry logo bye bye I'm not really sure about how the copyright thing works here but this video is just for education purpose yeah guys and if you have any advice about how to use logo of 3d models or something about it just let me know I'm going to yeah, something like this. Hmm. Yeah, it's amateur work, but it's fine. I like it. And this is the part of of the work. This is for this one. So uh, let me apply this texture. Oh, I did not save it as JPG, JPG. So I'm going to save it as JPG. Overwrite the existing file and let's see the effect here. Now we have now we have this black and annoying texture of this 3d model I will add a unwrap UVW modifier and then re uh, edit the UV and W of this texture select everything and just scale it down here put it 
here at the corner now I'm going on to work only on this part so I will select this one and also this one then I yeah I can just scale it up here bring it here and scale it up you know it is editable mesh right because I I have imported it from FBX file when you export 3d models to FBX file you will get uh, you will get the 3d model as editable mesh let me yeah resize this part and now this one we need to see it from that direction okay this shadow should be here so I will flip it this way and yeah then you we can just use this corner to resize it this way okay we have it replaced this part only and I don't want to record too long video because I will have problem on uploading it how long is it it is 12 minutes maybe I will stop the recording and uh, upload it I will continue with the next video it's okay see you see you next time bye bye